hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you some free helpful websites for students i think every student needs to be making use of this website this website is going to help make your life easier but first before i get right into the video if this is your first time on the channel hi my name is risa i'm a cameroonian blogger and content creator on this channel you're going to find videos on tech productivity online money making strategies and so much more so if you like any of such content please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and also turn on notification bell so that you get updated whenever i upload any of such contents let's get started the first website is called DeepL translator with this website you can translate any given text from one language to another all you need to do is just copy and paste your text right into the box and then choose the language you want it to be translated into from the drop down arrow and voila it's going to translate your text now on my google translate this one is going to give you a more accurate translation of the text so i highly prefer this website to google translate and again this website is totally free another bonus about the website is that you can translate up to 5000 words of text at the same time our next website is called Omni Calculator. This is basically a calculator for any subject. Just choose your subject and then choose the calculator for the topic that you want and voila, you can start calculating with ease. Now to demonstrate, I'm going to click on completing the square calculator. You can immediately see the general quadratic equation. Next, all you need to do is just put in the numbers for the respective letters. It's going to calculate it and give you the answer and also it's going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how they came out with the answer. Let's try another topic. So I'm going to choose the base formula calculator. Next, put the number for the respective letters and voila is going to give you the correct answer for that. You can also find the calculators for some complex math topics such as circles and trigonometry. Let's check out the calculators for other subjects. In this case, I'm going to try chemistry. So you can find pH calculators, buffer calculator, electronegativity, entropy, atomic number. So you can basically find calculators for all the topics in chemistry. The next website is called Cheatography. On this website, you can find cheat sheets, guides, and quick references to any subject. Just go on the search bar and type in the topic that you want a cheat sheet for, and it's going to list down some cheat sheets for that particular topic. You can just go ahead and choose the one you want. So immediately you can see that this cheat sheet contains the most relevant and important information on the topic matter. So instead of going through the entire topic matter on a textbook and then having to filter through and find the most relevant information, this cheat sheet is going to help you focus on what is the most important information on that particular topic. So you can use this as a guide whenever you want to read a topic and also you can use this as a quick revision whenever you want to just brush through the entire topic instead of going back to your notebook if you see a cheat sheet that you like you can easily download it as a pdf and keep it in your laptop to use it anytime it is totally free
now the next website on our list is for medical students and science students it is called smart savior now on this website you can find free medical images and illustrations that you can use for your notes or even for your powerpoint presentations you can find illustrations for all human body parts such as the eyes the hearts the lungs the cells and also general medical equipment such as burettes beakers basically any other lab equipment that you can think of you can find the illustrations and images on this website and again you can download any images that you want for free The next website on the list, which is not actually a website, it's a Chrome extension and it's called Sites. Now this extension is going to help you save so much time whenever you want to do research or find references for your project paper. As you already know, writing a project paper means you need to do a lot of Google research. But sometimes if you're lucky enough, you might find exactly what you're searching for. And that means you're going to need a lot of time to do your research. So that is why this tool is going to help you take care of that problem. So how it works is you need to add it to your Chrome extension and then go to Google and type in the topic that you want to do research on. So let's say I want to do research on photons. Choose any article you see on Google and then highlight a text from the article and then right click and then choose the site Chrome extension. It's going to display a bunch of references that you can use to add to your project. These are all high quality references from other scholars and if you like, you can also see the full text of this article to do your research on. You can also add another Chrome extension called Natural Reader. So what it does is, it's going to help you read out your article for you aloud. So instead of straining your eyes to read through all the articles, you can just highlight a text and then click Natural Reader and it's going to read out the text for you. The electromagnetic radiation comprises energy particles termed photons, the energy of which is inversely proportional to their wavelength. The frequency. The initial work on dividing the UV spectra into different bands can be attributed to W. W. Copland's. His UV classification, developed at the U.S. National Bureau of Standards during the 1930s, was soon adopted worldwide. Using different filters can pump. The next website on the list is called BioRender. This website is basically used to make scientific visual representations. So as a student, you can use it to create scientific visual representations of summaries or descriptions of any sort. It contains a library of pre-made scientific illustrations such as cells, proteins, membrane shapes, organs and app equipments that you can just drag and drop and use it to build your template instead of having to draw each element individually. So let's see how to use this tool. So you first of all need to sign in with your email address and then you need to answer some few questions that are going to ask you. Like it's just a basic questions that you can just um, put in the answer right there. Now once you're done answering the questions, it's going to lead you to your dashboard. Right here you're going to find templates that you can use or if you like you can even start creating your own template from the scratch. There are templates for different categories, there's templates for COVID-19, for pathways, chemistry, basically any form of scientific templates you can find it on this website. You can also just go to the search bar and type in the template that you want and it's going to pop up and you can just choose a template and start customizing. going to find icons on your left or you can just click on the search bar and type in the icons that you want and it's going to pop up and what you need to do is to just drag and drop the icon to build your story. 
you can also change the colors of the icons group them and even change the positions you can also just delete an icon from any pre-made template like this one if you don't want it plus you can also upload an image directly from your laptop to use it to build your story on the template so you can just use this website as a student to build a visual representation of your ac so all you need to do is to just drag and drop icons group them to come out with what we want you have the options to change colors and the fonts of the text and also add shapes and lines to in order to build out the story that you want the great thing about this website is that you can also collaborate with friends by clicking on the share button and then add your email address to invite them Plus, again, you can also download your storyboard by clicking on the export button. It's going to be downloaded in your laptop. So you can use it to add to your essay as an image to make your essays pop out. Okay, now let's start building on a blank canvas. Go to the search bar, type in the icon you want. Just choose the icon. You need to display various colors, just choose the color you want. You can also change the color of the icon by choosing from the color variations they give you on your left. The next website on the list is called Studocu. On this website, you can find notes for any course. So what happens is students come here and upload their notes on this website. So you can find helpful notes for any given courses on this website. All you need to do is just type in the topic that you want to look for notes on and then it's going to list down some notes that you can check out. You're going to find handouts that is typed notes and also handwritten notes on this website. This website is also very useful for university students so you can find course notes on this website. So if you're a university student, you can just check it out and make use of it. The only downside with this website is that you can only read the notes directly on the website. You won't be able to download the note. The only way you can download the note is if you also upload your own note on the website. Or you can also upgrade to their paid plan. So I will highly encourage you if you don't have money to upgrade to your paid plan, you can also just upload your own notes here and then check out some of their notes. It's going to be very useful for you. It's going to be very helpful. All you need is just to scan your own notes and then upload it on the website and you'll be able to download some other notes. Now the last but not the least is actually a hack. This hack is to turn any hard copy note like this one or even a handwritten note into an editable text. We're going to be using the Microsoft Office app. Now if you don't have it, you can just go to Google Play Store and type in Microsoft Office and then you can just download it from there. And once you have downloaded, just open it up. On the bottom right corner, you're going to see a four dots. Just click on it. Next, click on image to text. Next, just adjust your note and then take a picture of it. Then click continue. So it's going to extract the text from your image and then turn it into an editable word document. All you need to do is just click on the copy and you're going to copy it and paste it into a clean word document. And from here, you can just edit the document and do the necessary corrections. 
With this hack, you can turn any picture text into an editable Word document. So let's try with these handwritten notes. Okay guys, so that was it for me today. If this video was helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel and also do not forget to turn on notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload any of such content. Thank you once more for watching and please do not forget again to hit the red subscribe button.